Good morning. If you have the Bible, look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of a calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you are called to one hope when you are called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is of all, and through all, and in all. So important, unity in the body of Christ. Unity in the body of Christ. You know, in our church, we over 20 nationality, black and white alone, you know, mixed together. Different character, different culture, different you know, language, all different people gathering together. But how can you keep the unity in the body of Christ? You, know, you have to keep the, the Jesus culture. You know, I have my own culture, you have your own culture, you have to have the Jesus culture, culture. it's the best culture. But Jesus, Paul said, a oh, prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live and live what you have calling you have received. I receive a calling, worth yeah. Live according to your calling. Well, how? Look at the uh, explanation. How can you uh, have a unity? Be completely humble. If you are not humble, it's impossible to live together in harmony and unity. Did you understand? If you are arrogant, proud, impossible. Yeah. Completely, completely humble. Yeah. So humility. If you're humble, God will give you more grace. If you're proud, God will oppose, God will against. Look at the, you know, King Saul. King Saul, rejected by God. Ephesians chapter 4 was to be completely humble and gentle. Do you know what Jesus say? Learn from me. I am humble and gentle. The character of Jesus is humble and gentle. Matthew chapter 11 say, Jesus say, come to me, learn from me. I am humble and gentle. If you are humble and gentle, God will use you. Impossible without the gentleness uh, to have a unity. Completely humble and gentle. And be patient. Patient is very, very important. Patient. <laughs> I keep patient. I keep patient with the brother Sebastian. Sebastian is gone now. That brother in the middle of the night, two, three o'clock in the morning, wash his hand and wait, 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 patient with him. We begging him, pray for him, support him for him, deliver him. But now he's gone. And God saw our patient. Patient, completely humble, completely gentle and patient. Without the patient, it is impossible to live together. Patient, patient, patient is very important. That is what the Bible says. Learn from, learn from uh, the the farmer. Farmer keep patient when they plant. Or learn from Job. Job was the most uh, suffered man in the history of the world after Jesus. He lost uh, ten children. But you know the Bible says, keep patient. Patient, and bearing and we do one another in love. Yeah, yeah. We have to bear one another in love. In love. Do you know the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, and peace. Actually, everything under the love. Everything under the love. If you have the love, you, know, you can you can overcome. You can overcome. Unity. Completely humble, completely gentle, completely patient, completely love one another. And 
verse 3, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit to the bond of peace. What does it make every effort? It means you do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Holy Spirit. And there is a one body. You are one body. One body. One body. If somebody struggles, you know, if this finger pain, yeah, you cannot say to this finger it chopped and send the uh, send the hospital. No, because this finger, have the whole body, leg and arms, everybody had go to the hospital together because of this finger. One body. Do you understand? One body. Your pain is my pain. Your pain is my pain. My pain is your pain. You are one body. One body. One body. And one spirit. One spirit. One spirit. Because when you have the one spirit, the Holy Spirit is one spirit. Do you know I have the Holy Spirit? You have the Holy Spirit. Therefore we are one. I have the Holy Spirit. If you have a demonic spirit, it is impossible to be one. All is crush. All is fighting. Why different the spirit? Impossible. I, I saw people who stay here or whoever come, I talk to them, always a quarrel. Oh, it's, it's disturbing. Do you understand? Why? Because different spirit. One spirit, one body. And JJ, you are called to one hope, one hope, one hope, one hope. One day you go to heaven. We love to see the great awakening in the United Kingdom. There's one hope, we have one hope, one desire, one hope, one vision, one calling. And we'll go to the audition today at 10 o'clock and then we preach to us in that area. One hope, one hope. And when you called, and one Lord, one Lord, one Adonai, our master is one. Do you know I'm assistant? Jesus is my senior pastor. Jesus is a senior pastor of our church. Whenever Jesus says something to me, to you, you have to say, yes, Lord, amen. One Lord, yeah. It's very important, one Lord. We talked with the, the brother, Jeb, he come out, he needed to come out from that, that environment. He used to be a, in homosexual for 33 years. Now he's a stop. I mean, of course, praise God, he no stop no more. But he needs to come out from that environment. Come out. Because one Lord, our Adonai, our Jesus, command us to do it. And one faith, one faith, one faith. No other faith. Unfortunately, King Charles, he made a big mistake because of all the pressure in the history of you know, monarchy in UK. The kings or well, queens depend on the fate. What kind of fate? Mm. Buddhism, Islam, Hindu. What kind of fate? Christianity. But what he did this year, a few months ago, he is a depend of what? Mm. Prolo. Mm. Depend of a fate. F A I T H S. Faith. What kind of faith? He wanted to defend the Islam. He wanted to defend the, you know, Hindu. He wanted to defend of the, you know, Buddhism. Everything. Can you imagine? Mm. England, this country, used to be a Christian country. The when anybody claimed they become a king and queens, they proclaimed that in front of the Almighty God and touch the Bible, they, I want to, I will be a defender of faith, which is Christianity, faith of Lord Jesus. But now, problem, there's no more one faith, no more, no more. But look, the Bible says one faith in Christ Jesus. One faith in Christ, not Allah, no Buddha, no any other name. God never give us any other name to be saved, only one name. That is what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. One faith and one baptism, one baptism. Yeah. 
Holy Spirit baptism, Spirit of God, only one baptism, one God. Yeah. They say, oh, we go to the mountain. There's many ways to go to the mountain. Name of Buddha, name of Allah, name of no. Only one way to the heaven. His name is Jesus Christ. Yeah, one God, Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. Very important to have a unity. Where there is unity, there is heaven. Where there is disunity, is a hell. Hell, terrible. You stay together with somebody, two, three people, if they have tension, if they have quarrel, if they are fighting, that room is like hell. There's no unity, there's a hell. If there's unity, it's a heaven, heaven, heaven. Heaven and hell is not far away. Yeah. Next to each other. If you have unity, heaven. If the unity is gone, hell coming. Have, where is heaven? Heaven is inside of my heart. We have to have the unity with the brothers and sisters. Do you have the unity between you and God? Do you have a strong unity? Do you have a deep relationship with Jesus? So important. Do we have? Yeah. Shall we pray together? Just one minute we can pray. Lord, help me. I'm so sorry. I need to be completely humble and gentle and patient and bearing with one another in love. Lord, forgive me. Help me. Let's pray together. Yes, Lord, I'm so sorry. Make every effort to keep the unity. But Lord, we didn't do it. Lord, forgive all my sins. Forgive my sins, our sins, Lord. Be completely humble, completely gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Lord, help us. Because our God is one body, one spirit, one God, one hope, one baptism, one faith, one Lord. Lord, Father of all, Lord, help us to have unity. Unity in Christ Jesus. Unity in Christ Jesus. Unity in Christ Jesus. Help us. Help us. Help us, Lord. Help us. Completely humble. Completely humble. Jesus, we thank you. Bless your name. Cleanse our heart, our mind. By your precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. If you want to be completely humble and gentle and patient and bearing one another in love, you can touch your heart. I can pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so sorry. We are so arrogant and proud. We are so sorry. Jesus said to us, learn from me. I am humble and gentle. Help us to be completely humble, to uh, gentle and patient, bearing with one another in love. Because of our God is one God, one faith, one baptism, and one Lord, one hope, and, and the one spirit. Lord, help us. We make every effort to, uh, to keep the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless our body of Christ right now. Bless us. We have the one Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Keep on praying for us. We go to the old shop today, this morning. At 10 a.m. we will leave here and they will preach from 11 to 3 p.m. Thank you. Keep on praying for us. Thank you.